just preparing the paint into this cup for my dirty flip cup or I may do a ring pour or a jiggle pour so it is basically purple, red, orange, white, yellow, some beautiful turquoise in there and this is for what I'm going to uh, just use a, a little um, MDF square I'm not going to actually pour on that round I'm going to use a little MDF square so it could be used as a a cup coaster I guess if you resined it in uh, heat proof resin so I'm just going to do my uh, flip cup on here and let's see how it all comes out so just flipped over that dirty cup pour it's a dirty call it a dirty cup pour because you're loading all your paints in one time um, all together so you just make sure that your paints are not too thin because they could go muddy if they are um, and I'm going to do a flip and lip and then I'm going to do a little bit of point of difference on this one so wait on and uh, see what I get up to next oh look at that isn't that pretty so that was a flip and lip you're just using the lip of the cup to give it a, a little bit of a diff point of difference in there and just gently tilt your surface whether it be a canvas or a MDF square or a piece of pine whatever you're using at the time and then we'll have a little go at a few Aussie slides I'm just using my heat wand on that it just bursts any air bubbles in there and if there's any cells that you want to bring up it helps bring up cells also so I'm doing that in preparation for this spatula just a little spatula I have there and I'm going to put some black it's an Amsterdam black mixed with Floetrol and it gives you the most gorgeous cells ever so I'm going to put some of that on the back of my spatula and give it what I call an Aussie slide, Aussie flow troll. Um, sliding it over the top of your work and then look at those cells that appear absolutely gorgeous. But I am going to go one step further as I'm always wanting to experiment and try um, to take my paintings to the next level sometimes at, that absolutely doesn't work and I make an absolute mess of them but you've got to try and usually I'm here to make the mistakes so you guys don't So what I've done in quite a few pieces of artwork, and I have done it for many years, this technique where you just put a little bit of silicone in a container and you dip your chopstick or skewer in and you in the oil, and then you just dip it into your work like that. And it creates all wonderful effects. I mean, some of them look quite bizarre, but they either look like little eyes or yeah, weird creatures in there, but it's quite therapeutic to do and it also creates like a cobblestone effect if you want to do it on a likewise colour which I have done on a previous um, piece but yeah it's all good fun so it's got a bit of um, mix, mixed techniques in there with the Aussie uh, the flip cup the Aussie slide and now those uh, I'm not sure what we'll call those uh, I don't know silicone dabbles or will you tell me a name what you think we could call them I will say bye for now